So yeah. What, yeah. What, what's rebellious luxury? <laughs> yeah. What is, is that? Is case? that like? Is that like uh, graffiti artists sort of do a modern apartment? <laughs> no. Here's the thing with rebellious luxury, right? I mean, there's there's a group of us out here, and I I suspect it's much bigger than than we imagine. But there's a there's a group out here that is that has kind of you know kind of come up in the last 10, 20 years that has made some money, right? That has, but that doesn't necessarily fit the norm of, of this luxury model, right? Like, I, I don't want to go into a store and be called sir, right? I, I'm not sir, right? I, I would never call you sir. Like, you're my friend. I would never... Oh yes, sir. Come on in. You know, like no way. You know, no. I don't want a freaking latte when I go furniture shopping. I just, I don't want that, right? I, I, I go get a Starbucks latte or whatever. You know, if, if I want, I don't, I don't need to be pampered in that way when I'm, say, buying a piece of furniture. Talk to me normal, right? Talk to me like I'm your friend, not retail speak. So we look at rebellious luxury and we think, okay, what are we rebelling against? Well, first of all, we love luxury products. What, what is luxury products? And if you break that down, it's just quality, right? Mm. It's quality with maybe some sirs thrown in, <laughs> right? Like mm. how stupid is that? Right? So, so our, our definition of, of rebellious luxury is, is this a luxury product, a good quality product without all the fluff, right? Without the lattes, without the surge, just good quality product that makes you feel good about it. That's a little bit more normal and down to earth. You're right. So was that rebellious luxury? Is that woven into the Benchmade Modern brand? Is that what Benchmade yes. Modern brand is about? And where did that idea come from? Well, it comes from you know, our background, my background in particular, uh, it comes from a, a desire to have the best quality furniture. Right. And, and, and when I, when I say that, I, I, I always talk a lot about what's under the hood, right. Yep. You know, two, two companies, a thousand dollar sofa and a $4,000 sofa on the internet can look exactly the same side by side, picture by picture. Wow. They look exactly the same. When you get it, it's a different story. And a lot of what that is, is what's under the hood, right? What kind of foams does it have? What kind of, yeah. you know, yeah. frames, springs, you know, all of those things that make the difference that make the longevity of that sofa last for, you know, forever, really. Yeah. So, so along with those materials, right. And that quality comes a price point. So in finding the right, well, you know, uh, landing place for us, like we are a luxury brand, so to speak, you know, we, we're a higher end quality brand, but in a way I don't want to be, you know, this Gucci or Prada experience, right? Mm -hmm. I, I want to be a more normal experience. I want to be able to, to show you can have this sofa, have a, you know, family of kids, you know, have, uh, you know, football parties, you know, whatever it might be, but still sit on nice quality stuff. And, and so we try to, we try to weave this rebellious nature. And a lot of it's about our customer. I mean, you could say we're rebellious because we ship faster than, you know, anyone else really. We, we make this quality product in a way that's, you know, sewn better and cut better and more precise, all that, all those things are sort of rebelling against that furniture status quo. But at the end of the day, it's about a, a particular customer, a feeling that that I think there's a lot of us out here, you know, old skateboarders that now run companies. There's there's quite a few. 